let's start. Let's discuss about Kirchhoff's loss. So this loss will be used in almost all or all circuit analysis uh, problem solving. So these laws are the algebraic relationships to solve most circuits. So first we have the Kirchhoff's current law or the KCL. So the Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of all currents at any node in a circuit is equal to zero. So the sum of the currents entering a node equal to the sum of the currents leaving the node. So what is a node? A node is a point where two or more circuit elements meet. So uh, in writing an equation, we can set the currents entering a node as positive and currents leaving a node as negative. <coughs> so let's take a look at this uh, figure. We have uh, one, two, three, four, four nodes. So node A, node B, node C, and node D. So take note that a node is a point where two or more circuit elements meet. Uh, uh, this node uh, this node this node and this node so if you apply KCL at node A so node A so there are uh, 1, 2 1 2, 3, 4 4 elements that are connected so I1 is leaving the node so we write the equation as negative I1 plus I2 because I2 is entering the node minus I4 I4 is leaving the node plus I5 equals to 0 <clears throat> or if we rearrange the equation so the currents leaving the node are I1 and I4 is equivalent to the currents entering the node which are I2 and I5. Now, same goes with node B. So, if, if we apply KCL at node B, so, the, so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, elements connected to node B. We start here. Uh, IA is entering node B. So, IA plus IB plus I1 minus I2 minus I3 equals to 0. Or the currents uh, leaving the node or entering the node IA plus IB plus I1 is equivalent to I2 plus I3. <coughs> now applying KCL at node C, we have negative IB. So here is node C. Negative IB plus IC plus I3 plus I4 equals to 0. Now at node D, we have this node. So we have negative IC minus IA minus I5 is equal to 0. So that is for the Kirchhoff's current law. Now we proceed with Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL. So Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the algebraic sum of all the voltages around any loop or closed path in a circuit is equal to 0. So sum of voltage drops is equal to the sum of voltage rises in a loop. So, what is a loop or a closed path? So, starting at a selected node, we trace a closed path or loop and return to the original selected node. 
we will uh, see that in a moment. Same with the current. In writing an equation, we use a positive sign for a voltage drop. Uh, so let's proceed with this uh, figure. So we have this figure shows um, one, two, three, four, four loops. We have loop A, loop A. We have loop B. We have loop C. And we have this outer loop. Loop. Loop D. So in loop A, we start with this node. Start with this node. So loop A. So this is a voltage rise. Or if we encounter, uh, when we look and we encounter the positive, I mean negative, uh, sign of the element, so we put in the equation as negative. So we start with this node. We have negative v1 plus v2 plus v4 minus vb minus v3 equals to 0. Here's another color. We have starting with this node. We have v1 plus v2 plus v4 minus vb minus v3 is equal to 0. So this is loop A. Have v, negative v1 plus v2 plus v4 plus vb minus v3 equals to 0. Or we can re rearrange the equation to this. Now same with uh, loop P. We apply AVL at loop P. So uh, starting with this node, we have uh, negative VA plus V3 plus V5. Returning to that node equals to zero. We have this. This is for loop A, loop B, for loop C, we have for loop C, we have so let's uh, start with this node. So we have negative V5 plus VB minus V4. Minus VC minus V6 equal to zero. Yes. <clears throat> now for the last loop, the outer loop. So we can start with uh, this this node. I'll check color. color. Starting with this node, we have negative VA minus V1 plus V2 minus VC plus V7 minus VD plus to 0. And there you have it. That was uh, Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. <clears throat>
now we will use this loss to solve our uh, example so using kcl and kvl get the value of io for the simple circuit shown below